Hi everyone, this is Dan Cho. I'm currently the Craniofacial Plastic Surgery Fellow at CHOP, and I'll be starting as an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin in Madison this fall. I'll be discussing a paper from the Regenerative Medicine Lab in the Division of Plastic Surgery at Stanford entitled Profibrotic Signaling Pathways and Surface Markers are Upregulated in Fibroblasts of Human Striae Distense and in a Mouse Model System. I know the title is quite intimidating and a mouthful, but simply put, this work focuses on better understanding striae distense, which are also known as stretch marks. As many plastic surgeons are aware, these are a common concern for many different patients, but we don't have a great understanding of how to treat or prevent them. The Stanford team aims to use a variety of experimental techniques to characterize differences between striae and normal skin. They then develop a mouse model for striae. The overall goal of this work is to better understand striae as well as to identify potential targets for future therapies. The authors demonstrate that skin and striae from human abdominal plastic surgery samples have specific characteristics that are different than normal skin, both mechanically and under the microscope. Using cell sorting and microarray analysis, they identify that fibroblasts and striae have different gene expression profiles compared to normal skin. 1.28% of genes are overexpressed and 2.47% of genes are underexpressed. Despite the relatively small differences in gene expression, they found increased levels of profibrotic markers such as CD26 and CD44, and lower levels of antifibrotic markers including CD74. These results support the idea that stretch marks represent a type of dermal scarring, and the authors conclude that the gene expression changes they noted in their study could be potential therapeutic targets. The authors then went on to develop an animal model of striae by dosing mice with steroids and using a special device to stretch the skin over time. They noted similar genetic changes in both mouse and human striae. This new mouse model could serve as a unique tool for future research by the team. In the discussion, the authors hinted some exciting new steps that are currently underway in the lab with the ultimate goal of developing therapies to prevent or treat stretch marks. Hopefully, this will translate their basic science results into potential treatments that can benefit our patients. If you'd like to know more, check out this paper in the August issue of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery.